So, oh, hang on. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait. Wait. Here we go. Um, <laughs> craziest thing happened the other night. I woke up with stir fry all over my bed. <laughs> Must have been sleepwalking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, come on, Doc. A wok is a big dish used yeah, do you, for stir fry. Do you get it? Seasoned. Maybe he like doesn't get it. Cast iron skillet. I don't understand. Do you no, want he me to, just, I can't he just it. doesn't get it. I forgot my cord. Uh, what? what? Welcome to the second uh, office uh, where it's uh, uh, Monday uh. night and the Vikings have their franchise QB. Yeah. Woo! Brandon, if you were wondering, it took all of 10 seconds. 10 seconds, Brandon! But for real, though, my... Nah. Hey, one preseason game. Let's settle down. Put your, uh, put your things away. You too, Doc. It means you. I know you saw him. At first, you're like, no, he can't be that good. And then you're like, oh, man. Who had better stats? Jordan Love's first first regular season game or J.J. McCarthy's preseason? No, it had to have been J.J. I don't even need to look. When it comes to preseason debuts, J. Love ain't got it. Put sunglasses in their pocket. Apparently you. Apparently. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Second Office. I'm your host, Alec George, with Doc and Sody next to me. Wait a minute. If your last name's Lee, why, why wouldn't you name your kid a parent? That's amazing. And when they're older and they have children of their own, they've been prepared to be a parent their whole life. Man, you should have saved that for next week, but that was great. I'm glad you didn't. What's that up, might guys? have been better than the stir fry. But... Guys, what's going on? Nice. Nice. Oh, that is delicious. If you're wondering why Doc is despondent and in his phone, it's because he is in our fantasy league. Despondent. And he's getting fired up. You know I like words. Yeah, look at you go. That's fun. Look at me go, I should say. Yeah, it's you, man. You're in the league, Doc. Do the woos. Ow. No, Ow. I like the party party. Yeah. yeah. He's already talking his crap. Hey, I'm, I'm a new team in this league, He's too. He's already talking poop. I'm not talking shit. You're, you're, well, now you are. Anyways. No, How am I just, talking smack? No, we're not. I haven't talked smack at all. No, just I'm saying, excited. Just saying you're going to win. We are going to be excited. an active no, part you, of this league. You've, 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 uh, I, uh, you sent a little more confidence my way. I know three people in the league, so I'm excited. Yeah. Wait, you know three people? Yeah. Uh-huh. Who's the third? His dad. Oh, heck yeah. Hmm? Yep. I golfed with him, what, twice? Oh, wait. That's right. <laughs> Your That's dad's younger than mine, right? My dad's the oldest dude in the league. Uh, yeah, your dad's got a couple years, I think. Well, so who else is in the league? What's the dynamic? I, can't I say don't names. Really know. Can't say names. They're too okay. popular now. Okay, won't say names. But um, well, uh, we got nicknames, right? Um, maybe not. Probably I guess not. what's the breakdown? So, I mean, obviously it's your two dads. So the uh, a lot of two dads. my brother's friends from high school. That's what I was wondering. Yep. Yes. And then um, the league's MO, however, is innovation. We try different scoring formats. So I will tell you, this is a 2.0 league. The 1.0 league is still like my brother and all his buddies that he played high school football with. And so this was kind of an expansion league, if that makes sense. Yeah. A little looser, but that allowed Georgie and I to get in and, and the dads to jump in too because we weren't. We weren't cool in the enough. original. Yeah. Not cool enough. Doc, the, I didn't say that. Not well, enough street cred. Well, being honest, the only thing that you should need to worry about or know going into it is that ev- is that I'm the champ and everyone else sucks at drafting. Make a sound effect. Great. I mean, I was, if, I was if, thinking, if, but, you know, come on. Man. All you just told me is that the bar's really low for com- competition. No, it's not at all. I can go through the team if I drafted last year. The it's champ, a great team. It's a great team. You're the champ. You're the best this league has to offer. Um, I'm not. That'd be Brian Kula. Oh, okay. Why does that name sound familiar? You just name dropped, no by names. the way. No names. I'm sorry. He's great at fantasy. What? Why does that sound so familiar? Seriously, I was looking through everyone's stats. He's got like five champs. He's kind of famous. He's crazy. He got five championships. Does he? Yeah. Man, I got two. Hmm. Got like uh, five or six top three finishes. You got three of those. I do. Yeah, I got three top six finishes. Top three finishes. Really? Yep. You have a second and two thirds. Man. Mm-hmm. Just can't really win the big one. Can Not you? quite. I feel like San Fran. My dad won his very first year in the league. Not since. Probably because I always have Purdy, McCaffrey, and Kittle. That's probably why I never quite get there. Well, so I had McCaffrey and Kittle last year and did very well. Okay, never mind. So, I had Purdy. So that's not it. In one league. Yeah, you did. There's so many leagues now. How many leagues are you in? Uh, three. Wow. Yeah. I'm in two. Mm-hmm. Doc? 
I'm in two dynasty leagues. How many leagues are you one. in? I don't want to hear the different types. Three. Three. What kind are they? Anyways. Football. Come on. Yep, they're fantasy football leagues. Okay. Um, the Olympics have wrapped. And boy, were they fun. They were yeah, great. I don't know that guy. USA finishes tied with China in gold medals. 40 apiece, I believe. Um, and the overall lead in overall medals. USA. USA. Not from a per capita standpoint. Oh, where's my Trump? Where's the, damn it, where's the... You have a Trump song? Trombone. Yeah, I did. Bullets was in, boy. Shit. Oh, nice one. There you go. <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> fight. That too. Um. Okay. Dakota Linworm. Dakota's own. Woo! 12th. Woo! In the women's marathon. Wait, Dakota's own? Minnesota's own. You said Dakota's own. Did sure. I actually? I was like, yeah, that's not okay. mine. Okay. Sick. I did not propose to her after she ran. She's very marathon. nice. Oh, did she get proposed to? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, she finishes the Olympic race and then gets proposed to. Dakota, congrats. Wait, did she say Thank yes? you. Different Dakota. Did she say yes? Uh, yeah. How you confusing have, you have, you that have, household Post it all be. about it. Post it all about it's it. So I crazy. just walk in all the time. Dakota! Close the door. You both go, what? <laughs> yeah, we're used to that. Man. It's Anyways. so crazy that, like, nah, never mind. Oh, it's come on. Not, it's not appropriate. Oh, come on. Right. Congratulations for being the f- the fastest American woman. Yeah, the only one that finished too. The other two uh, did not finish; they had to withdraw. Happens all the time. It does. Are we making T-shirts? Because I have a bunch of ideas. He's kind of. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, feed him. Feed anyway, him those ideas. But congratulations, so, Dakota Linworm. What was going um, on with the uh, bronze medal thing? Yep. So something crazy, I guess. So uh, um, the United States gymnast. Who is Jordan Childs? Jordan Childs, thank you. Um, was first um, given fourth place, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to try my best here. Um, later filed a grievance because she thought she was not judged correctly on difficulty. Yeah, they thought the difficulty score was misjudged. They filed a grievance and uh, won. Whoa! And was then awarded bronze. And something's happened since then, where they have since taken it back. They said, nope, you still don't have it. Those are U.S. destroyer ships. Come on, that's cool, right? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But yeah. So they took it back. What was the it, grievance file? I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs, um, but it sounds stupid. If, if you go through a legal grievance and you pass, you get it. The bronze is given. Mm-hmm. And then retroactively said, nope. Um, her sister took to Instagram, um, kind of popped off. I'm not going to touch on the the, the racial accusations. Hmm. But she did say the only two reasons why a medal should ever be stripped is for doping or cheating. And in no instance in Olympic history has a bronze been taken for anything else or any medal been taken for any other reason besides those two. Yep. Till, till now. Yeah. And now she is at home without that bronze medal. I guess it's still ongoing. Yeah. Wow. Sounds stupid to me. Maybe at this point they both get it. You both get bronze. Hmm. Well, no. No. She did a harder routine. She scored better. She technically got third. They're trying to take it away from her because they're saying that the USA was not within their allotted time to challenge the difficulty score. But they, they have video, but they have video evidence late. video evidence that it was submitted yep. on time. And apparently they have so evidence. whatever IOC, whatever governing agency is now saying, no, 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 too late. Ooh. But but she was better. We're talking about someone For, saying, hey, can you look at this? Yeah. Who cares? You guys got yeah. it wrong in the first place. It shouldn't take us, if it was 60 seconds or 64 seconds, you still got it wrong. She still did the harder routine. You even agreed she that She still you had did it wrong. better than whatever country got fourth. And you've even agreed, yes, we got this wrong. Correct. And now they're just, oh, you took too long. Wow. By four seconds, huh? Yeah. So oh essentially gosh. what it is is probably a lot of people are super upset that Simone Biles and Jordan Childs bowed down to Rebecca Andra- Andrade. Yep. Big freaking whip. That was great. Get over it. That was awesome. They Who decided cares? They decided it then and there, and they're like, yes, give her her flowers. And Those they did were it. the three best uh-huh. that competed that day. Yeah. They deserve the medals. Yeah. I don't care what else happens. Mm-hmm. Boom. So the initial grievance was filed 
in time for her to be on the stand because she wasn't. That's right. Yeah, because she was on third on the podium. That's right. I Correct. kept thinking yeah. this was after the fact. But yeah, no. because they initially they read her score and it wouldn't have yeah, qualified. They right. filed a grievance. Then they came back and said, oh, everything was on hold. Yep. You won. You're up there. You know what I have a bigger issue with? Mm. The Olympics? I have a bigger issue with that USA, or not USA, but gymnastics in general. Oh. Only two people from each country are allowed to compete yeah. in the individual yep. challenges. Very stupid. Emily filled even, me in on that. Even though Very other stupid. people are better. Uh-huh. I'm sorry that my country has the fourth best athletes and your country That's doesn't. Right. But she Sucks couldn't. Sucks to suck. Yeah, but she better. couldn't. So then, yeah. Up in there. Yeah, well, stupid. Yeah, I take the best that. athletes. I don't care if they're I all from the same country. I listened to a tidbit on that, and there was, what, two other U.S. athletes that would have qualified yeah. if it hadn't been for that rule. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But because whatever gym all four of those train at produces champions, yeah. Yeah. two of them, ah, sorry, exactly better, right. better hope your two best friends do poorly in the next four years. Exactly right. What? Yeah, it's a, it's not right. That should not be the case. So wait a minute. So that's goofy. Sports teams aren't allowed to have, like, the four best, right? No, absolutely no, not. No, you, no, got, no, you can't no, make you it know, make a team. Yeah, it costs money. Oh, I'm sorry you trained your whole life for this and they're the best in the world, but mm, sorry, there's two other people from your country. Well, the fuck out of here. Yeah, the Olympics is about every country coming together, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So maybe the real medals are the friends we made along the way, is what Sody's saying. <laughs> I disagree. It's not like life changing <laughs> money that these girls could get from sponsorships or ad deals. It's not. Right to be in the spotlight. Right, it's not that's not life changing about. for them. No, no it's, it's, and you know it's, what? It's like whatever. Luckily, they get another chance in four years when they might not be in the same physical prime they're in now. But it's cool, man. It's everybody, cool. Yeah, everybody right, got to play. But that's all right. Yep. Yep. That's all. Everybody, that's fair. Every country got to play. Exactly right. Kind of like Who youth, cares? youth sports. Get out of here. I'm done with it. He's over tired it. of pampering people. He's over it on a world stage, even. What? That's right. We're the best. We got the biggest stick. Do you, you ever tell other countries are the best? What Doc is saying, here's our wieners. Look at them. They love it. Metaphorically, because we're talking about the women. But well, I, I wasn't talking about wieners stands. at all. But That's all right. exactly what that was. <laughs> I knew what you were doing. I read between your lines. <laughs> no, I would have just flopped it on the table if I was talking about that. I, Oof, I do this. I've just, I thought that's what you did. I would have hit some some of the, the chips cookie, away. The cookies cookies? would have flown off the table. Yeah, I mean, it would have just been everywhere. You would have snapped my well, stogie now. I know, right? Jeez, like, God, that's a, <laughs> that's a wedding stogie that I've just had. Oh, I know. Yep. Anyways. I gave it back um, to you after you okay, gave it we, to me. Okay, we all agree. That's very stupid. <laughs> very stupid. Okay, what else happened? Men's uh, basketball defeats France for gold. Women's basketball defeats like France for gold. I watched that game, actually. Very good game. I, I watched it. Very good. Game. It did not look like we were going to get there for a minute. I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, no girls pulled through, man. They sure did. Um, men's had a crazy uh, semifinal game against Serbia, dude. Joker, uh, the Joker almost took him down. Can I just say though, but not quite. Real quick, after watching that WNBA game, yeah, it's fun to see Rudy was in the uh, crowd for the French. Yep, team. Mm-hmm. But uh, man, when they take a three, whew, you can feel the energy. It's like, oh my god, it's in the air. Yeah, like I, there was one great shot where this gal pulled up, did a jumper for USA. I forget her name. I'm sorry, but she she hit the shot, and she was a little bit in front of the free throw line. But mm-hmm. man, were they pumped! Nice jumper, woof, pure, oh, fundamental. Well, fundamental is the layups, and that's sure. what I like most about you. Nobody sees offensive penetration like the basketball game I watched. Yeah, no, the they... ability to get the balls deep, those. I mean, seriously, because you don't have the same. Well, a lot of times in Careful. certain, well, certain teams like NBA teams, you'll have a massive size difference between what's down low and what's kind of up top dishing. I, I follow. Player. I'm following. Well, Carl Anthony Towns is a little bit bigger than our point guard, right? Are we talking about the same thing? Yeah, yeah. sports, baby. I know. I lo- you lost me at balls deep in like, penetration into the into the paint. In it, the paint. Yeah, into the paint. I feel you. Waka Flocka went hard in there. <laughs> There's a song about it. It's a good point. It's a good point. Yes, they they do great. I, I watched it too. It, it, they they were moving on a string. It, it it was a fun game to watch. But I will say, yeah, because you don't have the big bodies that you do in the NBA. That that it takes finesse. I really thought you were trying to be funny for a minute. What do you mean? Because <laughs> you said penetrate and balls deep. 
Yeah. But we're, <laughs> I was like, what are we doing? What What do you call it when they're dishing the ball from the three-point line? You and say they do those a... things, but it sounded like you were saying them deliberately in succession. Probably. That's what you have to penetrate to get the balls deep. <laughs> balls won't go deep if you're not penetrating, I promise. You're you. correct. Yeah. Okay. You got to get them in the paint. Good. Waka. What am I doing? Um, right. Making magic, man, looks like. Making magic. Um, I do have to say, holy... Balls, Steph Curry. I don't think he had to say holy balls, but sure, well, Steph Curry, man. In the theme that you were bringing up, Can holy we? balls. Seriously, okay. Steph Curry. My God. Did you guys see it? Oh, yeah. He the was... back to back to back to back threes to close it out. Yeah. The hey, last but... one went 40 feet in the air over two people. Did you hey, see him night practicing? Night. Huh? He put people night night. Yeah, he was great. It's like me. I, I tucked Lily in. Uh -huh. He tucked Branson. That's what is that did. is that how you took Lillian? You you're like, all right, Lily, line up. Daddy's got a splash of three in your face. Yeah. <laughs> you throw cross, her. Drop, cross her over. Drops a ball up blanky <laughs> right in the hoop and it <laughs> perfectly lands on her. There you go. Just like she out. You're done. That was amazing. That was seriously amazing. Like we we're, we're never gonna see a player like him. And that well, was just crazy. Can we talk That's about for our generation what it was like to see Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and LeBron James on the floor together? Amazing. I can't wait to see it again in four years. But I think about it four years from now. LeBron already said he can't see himself on the team in four years. Yep. But I can. That's the end of an era, man. I, it's I, I, in I can. LA. I can. I can yeah. see him there, though. I think he's going to oh, be. Oh, wait. Yeah. He's going to bring his talents back to LA. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I feel like LeBron will be there, even if it's more wait, of a bench or coaching. Are in LA? Yeah. The uh, next Summer Olympics. I mean, it'll be great. You didn't, see, you didn't see Tom Cruise would be better. jump no. out of an airplane? Dis super Actually, disagree. yeah, keep that crap out of here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why not? No way, Jose. Why not? There you go. Much better. Well, so plenty of space. I guess. You got that going for him. Um, sticking on the NBA train, Jason Tatum's mom was unhappy about playing time because <laughs> he didn't get played in the semifinals. Mom! My son just signed a $500 million contract. Why is he on the bench? Mom, it's okay if he's on the bench me. if you got five hundred million dollars. Yeah, I'd prefer to. It's be fine. He still. It's fine. It. And then he played in the gold medal match a little. Did bit. Did you somebody see, paid you half a billion dollars and then said take it easy? But to well, her, unacceptable. Who, okay. and makes no sense. Who uh who who posted the picture of them with the medal saying, um, "Best group project ever." Where like I oh the, uh, Halliburton Tyrese yeah. Halliburton yeah that was like, great like. Got next to zero minutes. Yeah. And yeah. He's like, when you didn't contribute nothing to the group project, it's still getting an A. Yeah. That was <laughs> He's fantastic. Great. One of my favorite players. He's awesome. You still got a medal. Who yeah, cares? Man. Yes, exactly. He was smiling and hyping up the, um, the starters every damn game. He did. He was great for the Did bench. he not practice? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he was part of it. Where do you get better? Yep. With the legends. And you're playing with them every day. Where are your medal? Sorry if you didn't get a little bit of playing time. Hey, he'd avoided injury. Yeah. Mm hmm. Load management. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, Kristen Faulkner, super cool story. Weird segue. Yeah, that's all I had for um, NBA. USA. Uh, Olympics, you mean. Basketball. We covered both. Kristen Faulkner is one of the craziest stories of this year's Olympics. Uh, can I say genders? <laughs> um, grew up in Alaska, wrote at Harvard, moved to NYC after school, started working for a venture capital firm, took a beginner's cycling class in Central Park, started cycling at 5 a.m. before work, started competing in local cycling tournaments, quit her job, moved to California to cycle full-time, added to the USA road cycling roster one month before the Olympic Games, and she got gold. Hell yeah. That's crazy. I mean, it's cool she cycles, but does she recycle? That's real that's a cool. real question. Good point. That's what's cool. Kristen Faulkner, um, the people want to know, do you recycle? But congrats on the gold. Um, guess how much Snoop Dogg is getting paid daily? Like um, half a million dollars. Yeah. 500K daily. Yeah. We yeah. talked about this. To spread his brand. Did we mention that? Maybe. Because I, I saw it again and it still blew my mind. Good for him. Good. Did you see his logo too? He got a pin and it's him puffing yeah. a blunt and the Olympic smoke rings. It's very cool. Oh, it's cool. It's very cool. Is it Olympics though? Mm hmm. Hmm? Is it pretty? Is it Olympic? I remember them freaking out about Michael Phelps doing that. Or you, are, could it be Laramie Tunsil? I mean, made it. Hey, he, maybe he'd be part of the, the smoking team. Would we pay Sean White the same amount of money to get high on television? Um, gosh, there's someone who'd do it, guaranteed. You pay me that amount. Definitely someone who would do it. Did you guys, speaking of that, did you guys see KD and LeBron getting off the train? No. You should watch that clip. It's pretty funny. What'd they do? Uh, they just kind of look a little blasted. 
And then just uh, a little bit. Joel Embiid's looking at KD as he walks in with a trucker hat, and sunglasses, and you could, he's got like disappointed dad all over. So he's just like, man, KD, yeah, and we're about to go get us a gold real quick. <laughs> they showed up relaxed. Little, it, little, it appeared a little toasty. Well, it could have been a pregame massage. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll totally do it. Essential oils, guaranteed. It was that. Um, Noah Lyles, such a hater. Apparently, I don't know who this is. He won this guy with the boat, fastest man in the world, won the Olympic gold for the 100 meter. Okay, very accomplished. Yeah, incredibly successful. Getting all the flowers right now. Gold medalist from America in the 100 meter. Okay, and apparently, he's a huge hater. So, made the news um, when the Celtics won the NBA finals, and uh, NBA Twitter account this was before the Olympics said something like, Yep. And something like uh, uh, congrats to the world champions or something like that. And he made a, a, a hater post saying world champions, like quizzical emoji. Right? Quizzical. Despondent and quizzical. God, Look at me go. Um, saying like, whoa, you're not world champions. This is a national league. Hmm. Kind of pointless hating, in my opinion. Well, now they are. And it's neither here nor there. Right. Because now USA is the best players in the league yep. or in the world. So. Yep, exactly. They're world champions. Um, story also comes out. This was kind of weird. Noah Lyles offended when Adidas invited him to Anthony Edwards' event last year. Anthony Edwards was revealing his shoe. Noah Lyles was invited. Um, didn't want to go. He has come out and since, since said he had prior engagements. But he openly did say, this guy hasn't won anything, and he got a shoe. Where's my shoe? He's hating. He's hating again. Yeah. Tyree Kill has since spoken on it. <laughs> so it just gets juicier. I like it. And I'm interested in your guys' opinion. Tyree Kill says Super Bowl champions have the right to call themselves, quote, world champs, and says he would beat professional sprinter Noah Lyles in a race. Hell I, yeah. I can sum this up in about 30 seconds for you. He said, come on, bruh. Just speak on what you know about, and that's track. I would beat Noah Lyles in a race. Do you want me to speak on it? You want my opinion? Yes. I would agree with Noah Lyles with the world champion thing if only Americans were allowed to play in the NBA. Where does the best talent in the world go to play basketball? Exactly. That's a the point. They go to the NBA. Mm-hmm. It's a national basketball association because other nations participate in it. Hello? Thank you, Sodi. Stick to boats. Noah. Good one. <laughs> Took me a sec. Remember, yeah, this is the one we got confused because I said if he ran fast enough, could he split the race? Yep. <laughs> That's right. Very nice. Um, to that point, um, the cheetah, Tyree Kill, says he could beat him in a race. Tyree Kill has run a sanctioned 100 meter yep. without proper sprinter training, right? NFL training, absolutely. Yeah. He's got great res- resources to, to train that. To what was train. his time? 10.1. Oh, he'd kill him. Noah just got gold with 9.79. Yeah, he'd smoke him. I think give him each six months, I'm taking Tyreek. Yeah, I, I think just put him side by side. I think Tyreek's got a little bit of that sea biscuit in him where if he's behind, he can find that extra gear. And if he. Because everyone's behind him, but well, if he a, actually has a guy that's And I guarantee faster. you, there is a difference to NFL sprinting and track sprinting. Give him six months to learn how to sprint track. Tyreek Hill is the fastest person I've ever watched alive. Did you know that they have... I watched 100 meter, and yeah, they're all crazy fast, so maybe it didn't seem like that, but there was a play a couple years ago against the Vikings where Tyreek Hill caught up to Damian Williams, who was halfway to a 98-yard touchdown run. Damian Williams is the only player in the frame, sprinting, and come jogging into frame, ho-hum, patting him on the back, guiding him to the end zone is Tyreek Hill, as Damian Williams is in a full sprint, and and Tyreek Hill's jogging next to him. I've never seen a faster person on TV. I don't know, that run I don't know how that translates. Wild. I don't know how that translates. That DK rundown was wild. Yes, good. That too. I think mm-hmm. that was the fastest recorded speed on a football field. Ooh, maybe ever. Let's find out. Actually, no, because then I think Tyreek did beat it. That was back when there was man football. Can't wait for football to start. <sighs> Paris Campbell at twenty two point one one miles an hour. That's freaking hauling ass. Not have guessed that. Damn. Who's that? Harris Campbell was on, he was drafted by the Colts. He's still on the Colts, or is he on someone else now? That's recent. You think his French onion soup's his favorite? Get it? Paris Campbell? 
What's wrong with you? Well, French and Paris, and then Campbell is a soup. I did it. You get it. <laughs> no. Did- <laughs> Okay. Um, And last but not least for the Olympics, um, you guys, did you see the Australian female breakdancer? Yeah. She's fantastic. Uh, I don't know about that. (laughs) I just love that this is the first and last year that breakdancing is. I want to know. Exactly. For at least 12 years. That's all (laughs) all we get of it. (laughs) Why'd she dress like Fresh Prince? <laughs> Sody, can you do, can you just go for a couple minutes? I, I want your opinion on on Ray Gunn, I, which I is a cool name. Her name is Rachel Gunn. Yeah, it's a very cool. A ray gun is actually a deadly military weapon that, if it's used, decimates life. So cool name, right? That was not what her performance did. I think she took from a a, a book um, <laughs> on break dancing that's been long closed and covered in dust because it's from. Buff- so if I were to tell you she has a PhD. Around the breakdancing world. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yep. Get your nose out of the books and get it on the floor. Okay, you can have a PhD in a lot of stuff and be <laughs> bad at it, right? It, it was, it, so it wasn't just in breakdancing. It, it, it had to do with feminism and breakdancing. If someone said they have a but PhD that was in thesis. sports, mm-hmm. do you think they're a good athlete? Be honest. If they're writing, if they're just... Uh, Probably not. If you're writing papers about sports, <laughs> go do the sport. If you're so good at it, don't write a paper about it. Do it. Well, she did both. Okay. And it, it didn't go that way. I better pay. She's not getting a doctorate for getting jiggy with it. So did she actually get zero points from the judges on one of her? Oh, things? I have no clue, dude. I, I read that somewhere. I I can't back that up, but I think she got zero points on something. Unless somebody stabbed her with a stick of arthritis, there's no excuse for what that was. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That, yeah, we're getting some great memes from it. Dogs rolling in the grass. Holy smokes! Five year olds saying, "Mom, look what I can do." We're getting great memes. What's holy? What's smokes? holy smokes? Is Ayuk finally going to Pittsburgh? <laughs> We've only broke it for two weeks now. <laughs> Heard it here first, boys. <laughs> Here's your... I'm telling you, I don't need Shefty. <laughs> you promise? That was a quote. Is it Shefty? I don't need Shefty. So, anyways, <coughs> uh, what are you wowing about? Uh, Jesse Ventura, you know, former, yeah, former Minnesota governor, former Mongol MC member, too. Bod. Just announced he's endorsing Kamala. Kamala? Sounds about right. He's a criminal. Is he? Look up Jesse Ventura, Mongols MC. He's part of an outlaw club that kills people in California. Okay, you fucking love motorcycle clubs, so I don't want to hear it. The people that do nice things. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Are you talking about the thousands of toys that a certain club in our state raises at a certain establishment every year? Because the <laughs> our toys for tots is a big deal. Still involved? No, oh. no. Oh. We live no. in a state. No. So do they? Yeah. 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 All right. I'm not a part of it. Okay. Some of them are upstanding members of the all community. Right. Um. Yeah, I think it's hilarious that we got all these memes from Ray Gun and and then and now breakdancing's done. It's all done. I tell you, Jesse came into the dealership when I was working there. You did not. Yep. How was he? I didn't recognize him at first. Yep. I was like, I'm getting out of here before this guy talks to me. And somebody was like, that's Jesse the body. I'm like, where's the body? <laughs> that's just Jesse. <laughs> yeah. That's just Jesse. Where's the body? He must be on, uh, he must be fasting. All right. Well, to wrap up the Olympics. <clears throat> Why? We're um, still on the Olympics? How? What do you mean? I we, said, I'm wrapping it up. Right. You got more? No. I, I thought we were done. We're talking about Jesse Ventura endorsing Kamala. That's not Olympic. Well, I didn't bring it up. You did. That was Doc. Did you? You asked. No, I didn't. You you made a noise, and I Whatever. said, what was Whatever. that? You don't have to feed into my noises all the time. We're... Gee. Every time your wife makes a noise, do you just like... No, I ignore it. <laughs> I, hate it. I ignore it to the best of my ability. <laughs> this is about me, not you. <laughs> Okay, so um, <laughs> anyways, they had a one level um, for, a for the next. Yeah. This is the last thing I got for the next Summer Olympics. They're getting rid of one sport and adding six. And I agree with everything. They're getting rid of breakdancing, oh, although yeah. um, the okay. finals were were pretty cool. No more breakdancing. What they are adding is flag football. <laughs> Dumb. Going to win that. Squash. Going to win that. Baseball. Th- that's oh, can't believe gosh, we took this dude. long. Softball. Okay. Lacrosse. Yeah. Cricket. 
Yeah, we're going to win every single one of them. All those are good. Even cricket? So softball is a Wait, women's league, right? Did you see what happened? Do we have cricket leagues? Wait, Wait is softball a women's only sport? Or is there men's softball? It's a good question. I don't know. Is that like the WNBA? <laughs> yeah, and then there would be an M. Is it fast so- pitch an or MSA softball? MSA for like men's softball. Is it fast right? pitch or softball? No, it says softball. Probably, that's, that's probably the women's baseball. Do you have to chug beers in between that I was going to say, beer league, Olympic? <laughs> God, that'd be great. Beer fest is getting closer and closer, boys. Sure is. We're getting there. We'll get there. I think, honestly, um, they should bring back some type of auto racing. I They used to do Moto of Nations around the Olympics, where literally like the top five riders from each country and factory sponsors would cover them in all kinds of logos. Those guys got a big paycheck. And they'd go out and do like a four-hour race in the mud with everybody. Way too many bikes on one track. And it's like an endurance race. Super oh, cool. That sounds great. Pit crews are involved. Yeah. So I think we should get a motorsport back in. You know Formula One? There's a movie coming out. Like a Hollywood movie. Yeah. Brad Pitt. Freaking Brad. I, Can't is, wait. Is he playing Hulkenberg? Is he just going to crash the whole movie? Piss off the Haas owners? It'd be fun. I'd watch it. Wait, I'd was it Nico it. Hulkenberg, right? He's the guy that's always crashing, right? Um, is it? No. No, Magnuson. Yeah, Kevin Magnuson. He doesn't give a shit. That's who you're thinking of. Oh, he's my favorite to watch. Yeah, First corner. <laughs> <laughs> Six million in damage. He's like, hey, the guy cut it at me. <laughs> I held my lane. It's it's usually trying to, yeah. Anyways, you're correct. It's usually trying to just not break as soon as everyone else. And then he's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, correct. Very correct. Well, a lot of people are breaking up there. Not to me. <laughs> I shall slide through like video game. You have, this, you have the same accent for the entire Eastern Hemisphere of the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's very good. I know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. It's Eastern. Borat went to uh, a little bit of speech school. Not a lot. Just enough. So, what country are you doing now? Because I think Magnuson is it's the Eastern. I, think, I want to say he's Norwegian. I think he's Danish. I think you're right. Oh, that's Stop definitely Danish. definitely not that. So. Is that whatever you're doing? You're doing Russia or something? I wouldn't say that. I would. Don't be scared of Russia. Debbie did Dallas. What's next on the agenda? You're doing a Russian football. Oh, <gasps> I love football. Me too. It's great. Um, Freaking hate it. No, it's great Why? because Vikes got their franchise quarterback. Anyways, um, I just thought this was cool before I go into other stuff. Um, Jake Hayner. Jay Kaner or Jake Hayner? The second one. Jake Hayner. Hayner. Rookie quarterback. Six-round pick or something like that. Never heard of him. For us? Plays for the Saints. No, plays for the Saints. Okay. Um, had a decent preseason game. God, I've, been, I've even been watching preseason. I'm just excited. When you're done with this. Yeah, I got another one. Good. Um, 60-yard bomb. Dime. 60 yards in the air. It's fucking un- uncorked it. Right? Um, he he uh, tweets. Okay, sorry. So this is a tweet from Nick Underhill. Have to love Jay Kaner's competitiveness. He said to me in the locker room, quote, not bad for a guy with a weak arm. He played with 32 stitches in his face. Told me that he wasn't supposed to practice this week, but said a guy in a fight can't take days off. Right on. I thought that was cool. In a fucking fight. Fight! Reminds me of Toretto when I was done swinging. I could barely lift my right arm. He drives a bus to work now. That poor exactly. guy. Um, I just thought that was a cool quote from uh from a guy who who just honestly might get cut. Yeah. <laughs> so remember I For referenced Yeah. I referenced a former yeah, maybe not. Maybe Georgia just... quarterback the other day who had a sweet country singer name. Do you oh. guys remember who this was? Huh? Stetson Bennett. Oh, he did bad. He did so bad. Oh, did he? Yeah. So, I'm, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Um, where would it he, You're pretty sure he... He's got notes. I do, actually. Well, Stetson Bennett uh, throws game-winning touchdown against the Cowboys with 10 seconds left in the game. Do you see what happened first? Did he win the game? He threw four interceptions. Did he win the game? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> How many interceptions did Tom Brady throw in his career? How many times has he won Super Bowls? Bet you know that. How many times has he had four interception games for his very first NFL action ever? Are you going to tell me that the amount of interceptions you throw is more important than winning the game? No. 
Okay, so did he win the game? <laughs> yeah. Game-winning drive. Ten seconds left. He threw it on point. He scrambled, got away from a defender, extended the play, and he made up for what he lost earlier in the game, didn't he? And he won. He won. <sighs> Frick, how many freaking interceptions he threw? He won! Stetson? Are you a Stetson fan? That should be your keeper. Why are you such a Stetson fan? I'm working on a on a parfum with the same name. Stetson Bennett. Oh, de toilet. I don't even know what the hell you're saying. Me either. What it's the cologne. hell is that? But it, this one's going to be a paste. That Why you, are you such a fan? I don't know. Stetson's a, a cowboy hat. That's oh cool. Oh, my God. It is. They're a quality cowboy hat, <laughs> usually made out of really good beaver fur. His criteria for cool players changes on a player-to-player basis. Do you know what a Stetson Diamante is? Do me a favor. Google this. I'm not Googling shit. Oh, Google it. Please. I want to know. No. You have a computer? All right. I got you, Sody. So a Stetson Diam- Diamante, sorry. S T E T S O N D I A M A N T E is I'm t- like if you're a cowboy and you you got some scratch in your pocket you go and get yourself a Stetson Diamante. Tell me about this. Tell What's me about it? this hat, baby. <laughs> tell me about this hat. Cowboy hat. <laughs> but tell me about it. Zoom in on it. What kind of features? What kind of benefits? What does it come with? Stetson oh Diamante. How much is it? First of all. First of all, it's a premier cowboy hat. It's fifty six hundred bucks. The f- why? Uh... Let's read why. What's on this hat, George? This is a freaking quality headwear. It's a four-inch brim, a four-and-fifth-eighths-inch crown, 1,000 times felt. So 1,000X is the quality of felt that goes in? 1,000X. I'm looking at a 4X. Let's just say that. 14-karat gold buckle set with 26 genuine diamonds. Cowboy. Uh, Made in the USA. Oh, my God. That's something you wear, and real cowboys make fun of you. Really? No, this is like what the really like pretty ones who are like well, no. really good shots. This is like Buster Scruggs. He would have one of these. When you're going to the Opry, that's, yeah. your, that's your wedding hat, Doc. Yeah. That's 100th episode. You bust out the Diamante, my guy. So he's right. That's, so you're not wrangling in that. You got Ooh. legendary quality. You're wearing a 4X Doc, and beaver. Doc. That's From like start to mink. finish, our signature hats are made by hand in Teja mm-hmm. using only the finest materials and time-tested techniques. You can tour the Stetson factory. It's Often utilizing cool. the same machinery we've been using for decades. Yeah. The result, the world's most legendary hats, designed for the long haul and crafted to be passed on from one generation to the next. Stetson Diamante. It's a cool hat, man. If my accent doesn't sound we get easy, famous, I'll get you one and make it. you wear it like everywhere you go. I'm like, come on, man. It's a $5,600 hat. You got to wear it. It was a gift. It's pretty sweet. Your wife would love it. You'd look so handsome in that thing. No spurs, though. You don't though. want me to cowboy up. What do you mean, man? I really want really want it. Now yeah. that I think about it, I think that'd be great. You put a couple pearl snaps on that button down and a buckle, you're there. You boys couldn't handle it. Get you some shit kickers. You boys could not handle me going full cowboy. cowboy I'd love to see it. You couldn't do it. I'd love to see those hips gyrate when that horse is in a perfect canter and you're just matching flow. Match and flow. Yep. That'd be great. You are in the saddle, my man. You ain't on it. AI's, I, I bet you AI could fill in our imagination there. I'm going to work on that this week. I don't need AI for that one. I get you, you get me a $5,600 cowboy hat, I'll do it. What about a hockey helmet and a bull <laughs> and a bull that hasn't been out of one pen in like four months? Let's go. That's Let's in St. Francis. I I'm know gonna, a guy. I, I'm going to need a pair of $500 chaps for that. Fair. And I'll need my riding glove. I got some Marlboro ones. I use them for golf. Same thing. Yeah. Bikes. Wait a minute. Oh, Wait a minute. Oh. Mechanical bull. We could make this happen. There's enough of those around. Yeah, it's very true. That's easy. I say the second office rides bulls one of these Fridays. That's a great idea. That could be a good time. Love that idea. If anyone's listening, please let us know where the bull riding is. But we all have to go full cowboy. Oh, absolutely. That's easy. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yellow. Wearing a tank top with Dale Earnhardt on it and nothing else. Cowboy. Nothing. nothing. No. Hey, sorry, my boots. You, you, got my my boots. Boots. I said full cowboy, not full white trash. My boots. Oh, man. Hey, he's got boots on. How are you going to know what that bull's doing if you can't feel it down there? You can't feel that through a pair of Wranglers and leather. He's got to feel that bull connection. You got you to gotta look that big boy in the corner right in the eyes. He's moving that joystick around. <laughs> you don't put gloves on and open a pistachio, you're, do you? You're no. Like... You do that barehanded. <laughs> just... Go. Come on, Billy Bob. <laughs> That's all you got. Fikes. Fikes, fikes, fikes. Um, JJ McCarthy debut, 116.8 quarterback rating, two touchdowns, and one ugly interception, which may have been the uh, receiver's fault, I've heard, but I don't think so. I think he just underthrew him. Anyway, he came back firing. Didn't let it bother him. 
I liked his play extension. I liked his scramble for a first down. Yep. Right? Took a hit, mm-hmm. didn't slide. I wish he'd start sliding a little bit more, but he's got a cannon. That's he for, does. That's for damn sure. And he dotted one in to uh, our boy number eight, Tristan. Yep, I got you. Thank you, Jackson. Yeah, it was great. Seriously, T Jack, absolute dime. T Jack, yeah. Wow, the new T Jack. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. Old T Jack. Um, so that was awesome. Vikes come back uh, to win preseason game number one. We were down twenty to seven at half, but that didn't matter, right? You know it's preseason, right? I don't care. You know it's preseason. I'm eating one of these. I don't care. Oh, my God. My quarterback has the greatest second half in history. History? And you just want to throw it out the trash because history? JJ's. Oh, his preseason quarterback rating. Like, who cares? History? Who cares? I care very much. Like, seriously. If you watch Ponder's first preseason game. It's so hypocritical. Ponder's first preseason game, you're like, ah, he sucks. So hypocritical. He's going to be amazing. JJ's going to be amazing. When the games matter versus the game that, who cares? What was he going up against? Practice I, squad guys who's competing for a roster wait, spot? Didn't matter. Talk. Didn't matter. I would invite you to please bring up Jordan Love's first preseason game. Yeah. Stats. Yeah. I'm curious to know. Who what's cares? What's stopping you? Me. Yeah. Care very much. When we, Google it. When we have regular season stats to compare, we will have, but we're working with what we got here. And it's fiddlesticks. Yeah. I'll be the first to say it, Doc, but it's what we've got. But you can't you can't sit here and, and be a part of the media problem and pump this up like it's, oh, my God, slap it on there. I Do you him. think seal? I got him going. Do you think watching somebody in preseason gives you a slight representation of how they're going to perform in the regular season? No, I think preseason is a good warm-up to get your players ready to be hit mm-hmm. again. Yeah. And it, it's for you to decide on, am I cutting this guy or not? Okay. Do you not, think, oh, my God, we got our guy. We exactly, got him. It's exactly what we it means. We got him. We did. It's exactly what it means. Um, okay. Preseason. Preseason. Is this uh How go. long has Jordan Lump been in the league? Five years? Four. Wait, seriously? That was only two. Okay. Well, I bet if ESPN kept preseason stats, <laughs> I bet they would have sucked. Absolutely. They do. Sure. But that's the point. Who cares? Who cares? That's the point. I care very much. Nobody cares. Okay. Vikings fans care very Are much. Are you getting cut or not is what the preseason's for. Vikings fans care very much. No, it's not. It's for establishing culture of that season. Yep. Getting used to play style. That's what practice is I for. Know. I don't know, man. Practice. You mean training? We're talking about practice. By the way. We're talking about practice. Those who listened and watched the YouTube like I did. Um, I was belittled like I and did. berated last week because I said Gable Stevenson shit is training mm. with Aaron Donald and Micah Parsons. And these have, two were like, I still have to confirm this. What an idiot! I still want to confirm this. I'll hey, confirm it. Did you know if we had paper towels right now, Sody could make his own wet nap with his tears over here. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. But I'd just like to say that they immediately discredited me for probably one of the millions of other stupid things I've said. And I don't think that that's a large enough sample size to just count me out like that. Well, what did you, we say that you said? You didn't... Yeah, I said that Aaron Donald and Micah Parsons were training with Gable Stevenson, and you're like, what? Aaron Donald's not even playing, and Micah's not on that team. And you were like, do you mean training? And I was like, sure. And, and you're like, because you said practicing. And then I looked back, I most certainly did not. Hmm. So hmm. last week's episode, Olympics and NFL... It's probably like five minutes in. I'll take your word for it. Don't totally believe you yet. <laughs> <laughs> Give me two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's got a cliff note it. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna find it. Um hey, today, Stefan Gilmore visiting the Vikes. I know. That's awesome. Um we we'll take anyone, man. We'll take anyone, please. Please. And he um, still got some tread on the tires, I hope, I assume. I don't know. <laughs> we'll take them. Please. I hope I hope we, uh, I hope I say goodbye to you guys tonight and I come back to news that he's on the team. Yeah, that'd be fun to just get some more depth, man. We need it. It'd be really nice. Um, hope that visit goes well. Hopefully he it's likes not, Minnesota. I why I do this. Um, Kevin Seifert tweeted something very sad. And it's Quessy's first three defensive players in the first 66 picks of the 2022 draft. It 
It's just not good. Nope. Andrew yeah. Andrew Booth, 42nd overall, who a lot of people were excited about. A lot of people were like, this is a pick right here, and then they picked him, and the fan base was sweet. They're like, yep, best cornerback available. Good pick. Um, he was traded today after playing 11% of defensive snaps for the Vikes since he's been here. Well, you traded him for the same player. It made no sense. It's the same. I know. All right, yeah, I'm ready if you are. The same player. Not I'll quite. accept apologies. Oh. And to this point in camp, there is no evidence that Lewis Seen. Sign. Or Brian Osamoa. It's not what we're going to do. I promise you. We'll have defensive roles in 2024. I bet we will have seen Lewis Seen before we sign Lewis Seen. <laughs> um, so that's a bummer. Um, that's, that's not how you want to start your drafts for new teams. No, it's been crap. All right, Sody, what do you got? Prove it. Um, so Gable Stevenson again. Remember him because he's now a Buffalo Bill. Still currently. Did on he make the team? Well, he's still on the team for That's now. Practice. But he's training with Aaron practice. Donald and guys like Micah Parsons. So if anyone's gonna training. teach, he's pretty good at moving bodies. Who's he? Two plus two don't equal four. <laughs> Who's he practicing with? Aaron Donald. Pretty talented. Like, oh, like training with him? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, you said he's on the Bills and he's practicing with Aaron. Donald. <laughs> I'm gonna go back one more time. Aaron Donald and guys like Micah Parsons, and it does not even include Gable Stevenson. I remember him because he's now a Buffalo Bill. Is his last still name not Stevenson? Team? Well, he's still on the team Stevenson. for now. Practice, but he's training with Aaron Practice. Donald. And training. I just like the records show. I said training. Um, we're gonna move on. So <laughs> I would too. <laughs> I'm gonna have another cookie. It tastes good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you want one? They might taste a little bit like crow for you. You're not. I'm not eating one of those. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Um, you guys see what's going on with Hassan Reddick? Traded to the Jets this offseason from the Eagles. Very good Eagle pass rusher. Uh, traded to the Jets. Um, I do not. Okay. So he I wants heard to trade. It. So the whole thing, uh, he was uh, not a lot because he's in the last year of his contract. And apparently um, said, I will play out the last year of this contract for the Jets. And that's why the Jets agreed to trade for him. It was because they're like, great, a guy on a prove-it deal. We'll see if we want to give him the bag after this year. Yeah. Nope, he showed up after being traded for and then said, I want a new contract. They haven't worked one out. So he has, um, uh, before joining them for a single practice, has requested a trade. The team put out a statement. They didn't even go through a reporter. They put out a statement that just said no. Nope. Nope. We've been perfectly clear throughout the process since before trading you. Now you're pulling this baloney. Do you think sometimes people lie to get a better opportunity? Mm hmm Okay. I think that's what happened here. Yeah. I think that an NFL organization needs to understand, too, that there is a chance he could change his mind. Did you get it in, in writing or anything that he... Yeah, right, no. It was probably just like, no, we'll, you know, probably just like a... Tape what deal. the hell was that? Yeah, spit in a handshake. Sorry. What that was supposed to be. Who? Are you, I hope you're not still doing that. COVID, man. No, I've never done that in my life, actually. Really? Maybe with you. What about... You ever do a blood one? Yeah. You sacrificed a goat on a movie one time. Derek Weiss has made all of us do that. Anyways, <laughs> um, so that's funny. He's uh, he's like, I haven't now. played for you guys at all, and I don't like it. Mm -hmm. So trade me. Can you blame him? We'll see what happens. It's the Jets. No, I cannot blame him. Um, speaking of not the Jets, but the Eagles, I guess, because he's going to retire an Eagle. Nick Foles is hanging him up. Big Dick Nick. Yeah, man. Fun career. Was it? Yeah. He won a Super Bowl. Not fun for Vikes fans. Was it? Yeah, you know. So uh, that part. Oh man! Jeez Louise! <laughs> Carbonated beverages and chips ahoy are bad. Mm, good one, Sody. Oh, that was a good one. Um, new stadium <laughs> food. New stadium food. Colts have a pretzel that looks like a turd. Did you see the sugar burrito? Yeah, that's what's next. Look at that. They tried to make it look like a horseshoe, which I get because that's their logo. What is this poop? Just yeah, it looks like a big dookie. Big old poop. That's an unflushable. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like right. God designed that to stay. That's like you. Like I'm getting on the scale after you just pop that. Up. Yeah, exactly. Like, You're man. like, oh, I gotta see. Oh, dude, that's my new thing. I go into bathrooms, and I close the lid. Before and afters. Well, I close the lid. I leave a sign that says "Do not flush." Went to get tape measure. Possible world record. <laughs> and then nobody wants to lift it because they're like, "What if it's right there?" Great idea. Like, what if I lift it and it? Oh man. But yeah, you just leave that note. Nobody will touch that toilet for a long time. Then it's always available after lunch. For you, I promise. Um, so yeah, they they're serving a a dookie pretzel, and then the Cardinals have a diabetes burrito. Wait, does it come with a gray poupon dip and sauce? God, one would hope. Third joke. <laughs> Toilet humor. At the you know, I once come on. I once run a, won a raffle under the alias Turd Ferguson, and, and they called it. It was great. Nobody yep. understood. The guy was like, "Is it what Turd?" Yeah, that's Georgie was there. I saw it. Wish we had some milk. Milk would be great. Hey, do you see they're raising the price of all you can drink milk at the state fair? Milk? Again? Three dollars now. That's not oh that my bad. God. Two to three dollars. Dude, it's three seventy nine to grab a bottle from a super America. First of all, yeah, you, you gotta be able to make sure you put down a gallon now. And it used to be a quarter. That's how much it for a gallon of milk. You better be at the state fair putting down more than a gallon to get your money's worth. Easy. That's not easy at all. We've tried that. We all tried that as kids. That's very it's a gallon challenge. In one you can't sitting, do how it. long are you at the fair, my okay, dude? Fair enough. Fair, fair joke. <laughs> Not intentional. This guy's awesome. Nice. Um. Okay. So the hey, so we're gonna the, do a second office at the fair this year. So we, so we got yeah. the hell yeah. We got the K fan booth when they're done with it. Yep. Right after the fair. Yep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what what we'll are you there. boys doing here? Hey. Hey. There's a motocross hey, tour hey, coming through. Just, fuck off. Hey, we're, <laughs> yeah. not <here. laughs> we're not here. <laughs> Um, so the Colts have a poop pretzel, and the Cardinals have a diabetes burrito. Accurate. Literally, uh, cotton candy. It looks awful. Is the shell. It looks awful. And it's filled with, like, Fruit Loops and Skittles. M&M's. Look at that. Why Did you see this? See it. Well, take your glasses off. Look at that. That's by the awful. way, By the way. That's crazy. Guys. Oh, my God. That's... For one person? There's Fruit Loops in there, right? For one person. Why would you buy that? Why would you buy that? Dude. So it's going to sell. Because Green Bay is it's opening up sell. a vaping section for THC. That's why. Some dude's going to eat enough freaking gummy bears. He's going, I want that candy burrito. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I want that. Oh, I want that. <laughs> cavity cadaver right there. <laughs> Give me that guy. So fun, uh, fun new foods, which is cool. Which is very cool. But we're going to talk about tricks later because I'm convinced tricks really are for kids. A Fruit Loop reminded me. Silly Rabbit. Yep. Um, okay. Timberwolves, um, I think, are experiencing the ant effect. I haven't had it since 04 with KG. Want to know why I say that? Okay. Wolves versus Lakers, opening night of the NBA season. Whoa. Wolves versus Mavs, Christmas Day. They're already getting the prime times. Not not something not something we got last year. I mean, well, they're, they're also like third in Vegas odds. This is oh. a business, and Ant is good for business. Yeah, he's very good for business. Why are you rushing again? Uh, I'm gassy. Look <laughs> at you go. Um, Nas Reed. Nas Reed, right? Uh, buy the t-shirt, secondoffshop.org. Nas Reed is on the cover of Slam. Congrats, Nas. Woo. Oh. Look at that. It's awesome. Two words. Nas Reed. I'm going to get it. I'm going to frame it. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you guys' opinions of jersey sponsors in the NBA? Inevitable. A necessary evil. Do you like them? No. Doc. Uh, I'm all for it. Whatever. It's all about money. Dude. I'd rather there be a patch on As the jersey a fan than the tickets watching up. the games. No, it obviously muddles from the jersey. Do you see the Wolves' new jersey sponsor? Is it a wolf? Because that'd be cool. Or it's a tree? Not. So Fitbit and Aura were fine. They were small logos that went mostly unnoticed. But now we're very noticed. Ant plays for us, and we have a good team. So it's probably going to be somebody huge it? with a stupid logo. Sure. Let's see it. So it's Sezzle. Sezzle is the brand. Like Sprunk from Grand Theft Auto? Sezzle. Can we see it? I'm trying. Sezzle, before, trying. before you see it, 
is like Klarna. It's it's buy now, pay later in, oh, in four installments. Oh, my God. That would be a Minnesota so thing. So, first of all, wait, I, wait. I, I hate that we did that because those things, they're just trash and they scam people. They scam st- stupid people mostly. Let me say it. Look at that. Well, they, they don't scam people. Well, they well, scam no, well, businesses. They, well, they get it on exorbitant um, interest rates um, if you don't pay it off within the month. Hey, I'm all for that. People, Stupid people are stupid. People. Is that the Jumpman logo on the left? I mean, I'm yeah, I'd, hey, I'd take advantage too. But or is it the Toyota symbol it on the right? Nope, oh, so it's this guy. Okay. Can I get a bigger version? There we go. Look how stupid. And that's on our worst jersey, and it still looks stupid. I mean, that's just like any other sponsor. You just don't like the, the one that no, bought it. Looks it looks bad. It looks yeah. really bad. Yeah. Not a fan. No. Would you rather pay $100 extra a ticket every time you go or stare at that? Because those are your options. I don't think those are the options. I don't think, it, I don't think the math is How there. much did they spend on that? Let's divide it by seat, by game. 82 games, yep. 18,000 seats. Absolutely. That's 100% what you should do, and it would be 41 games. Thank you. How many seats are in the stadium? I don't know, man. Let's do the math. Ah, oh, shit. You're pissed about it. Let's how figure much out was this? Do you know how much the sponsorship was? Let's figure out if you're pissed was? about nothing. Well, it's them paying the Wolves. Do you have a right to be pissed? I know. Right. But so I, I get what you're saying. It's them paying the Wolves or you paying the Wolves. They're going to get paid. I Let's promise figure it you. out. Do you know how much the sponsorship was? Uh, no, you look that up. I'll look how many seats in Target Center. <laughs> you give me the harder Jersey's job. Jersey's like, look it up. <laughs> 20,000. <sighs> Hurry up, Doc. Okay, so now you need to do 20,000 times 41, which is just going to be 82,000. Nice. So there's 82,000 home tickets sold a year, right? 820,000. Yes. 800. And, thank you. 820, <laughs> theoretically, if every home game sells out. So if it's over 8 million... It's a hundred bucks for you, right? <laughs> it's probably eighty million. Oh. So now, what's the contract? Because we're it's going to be divided by eighty-two or er, eight hundred and twenty thousand. Because I got guarantee that's the smaller number. <laughs> Doc, what's the what's the contract amount? Kind of waiting on you, but no, sorry, I just got. They're not. The NBA average is ten million. Okay, so ten million, we'll just say because it ranges from five to twenty Divided per by year, eight hundred and twenty thousand. So on average per ticket per game, oh, oh, it's only going up twelve dollars and nineteen cents. That's not a whole lot of savings to make up for that sponsorship. They would need to charge twelve extra dollars per ticket. I would rather pay the twelve extra dollars and watch that on the jerseys of the players. Really. Bids at twenty four dollars a ticket now. Fun exercise, though. I'm glad we did that. Yeah, it's not actually that bad. Yeah. Mm. Well, there you go. The league should have done a poll. Should have. Problem is, is they would register who voted no, and, and we'd we'd be paying thirty six to forty eight. Because I bet you a lot of people are like, I don't care what's on the jersey. I want to watch them play basketball. Well, not the fans making the decisions, right? Right. Jane, you want a cookie? Too bad your dog can't have it. Guys, thanks for listening to the second office. On a beautiful Monday night. We're on Mondays now. Dude, it is. Yeah, it was nice. While you're at it, check out our YouTube page. Like, subscribe. Uh, Check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash second office. Subscribe. You're a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, What else we got? We got Merch Shop. Doc's working on on the the Etsy Etsy extension right now. We're going to be on Etsy even. Selling these shirts. Selling these hoodies. And also, please check out the Patreon page because you can watch our premium or a sample of our premium stuff without listen. having to pay for it. You can listen. So you can get a chance to listen to it. I'm going to try to make sure I put some funny stuff right at the beginning so you guys get a good taste of what you're getting in the full show. Take so. a peek at it. See what you like. Hey, and help us out. I mean, we're, we're still starting out. Um, if you like us, Share us with people who you hang out with Tell who also like us. The bird is a word, and we are the bird. Please. Tell a friend. Please. And keep living the dream.